like. But it wasn't. It wasn't to sell out the camp. I swear. It was just them. The two of them. Him and Boozer. That's all that he wants. Just them. Yeah, how's that deal working out for you? I did it to save the camp, Mike. I did it to fix shit. To restore the treaty he broke. Deke, it's good to see you breathing, but let him go. Yeah. Deke. Hey. Okay. Okay, so... Is what he says true? About you making a deal? Only lost ten lives. Yeah. It's true. Okay. So we give you Deke. William. Biker boats. Whatever the fuck you want to call them. But you leave Lost Lake alone. You will rest in peace. You have my word. And that's something, isn't it? Your word. Grand fucking Poobah, the R.I.P. Hey, hey, we come here under a flag of truce. Truce, my ass! This is my camp. My people. You don't come here with some bloodstained flag of truce and demand shit! Not from me! Now, I don't care what you think these boys have done. I don't care why you want them. All I know is you're not getting them. We had a deal. No, this is the deal, Carlos. And it's the only one you're getting. Now you take your people, and you get the hell out of Lost Lake. Or we all die together. Right here. Right now. No treaty stands. Always has. From where I'm standing. You son of a bitch! Loser! All right. Escort them out of my fucking camp. Hey, uh... We ain't through. Carlos. Get low, brother. Deke, <laughs> stand aside. Stand aside! I just want to say... Take him to lockup. Oh, fuck that, we'll take care. Get off him! I keep trying to tell you boys something. And you won't listen. This is not how we do things around here. We do not barter with lives, and we do not murder people in cold blood. Get him out of here. <clears throat> Get off me. We're gonna give him a fair trial. Like civilized people. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. I'm not sorry, Mike. I'm not. God damn it, I tried. I tried to save his camp. The Rippers won't stop. Carlos is not gonna stop. You hear me? They won't stop! You know who that was? Jesse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess being a cult leader at the end of the world wasn't enough to keep him busy. He was after some payback as well. That motherfucking son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm guessing he's known about us for quite some time. That night at Crazy Willie's, that wasn't some random ripper attack. It's because it was going to sell us out to him? Where'd they take him? I'm going to find him and break his fucking oh, neck. Hold up, please. Get so for right now. Get your gear together. Some Molotovs, all the ammunition you can carry. But what are you thinking? And I already know it's a bad idea. Yeah, it's a bad idea. idea, but we're going to do it anyway. I need to go and get the explosives from the lodge and then that corpse from Skizzo's cabin. Meet me at the bridge. I'll explain on the way. Hey, you good with this, brother? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Deke, you there? Deacon, come in. 
Yeah, Ricky, I'm here. Hey, listen, I don't have time. What the hell happened? I just saw them locking Schizo up and I... Yeah? Good. Now I don't have time to talk. And Carlos and all the Rippers just rode out after everything they did. Yeah, okay, great. Talk to Iron Mike about that bullshit. I will, but I need to talk to you. I don't want you doing anything. Look, Ricky, you are talking to me. Face to face, Deke. It's important. It's always important. Ricky, look, I gotta go. Deacon, wait! Sorry, Ricky. We're gonna talk again later, all right? Deacon out. Deke, this is Tucker. Stop by. I've got work for you. Tuck, hey. Okay. I'll see if I can make time. Deacon out. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The war on terror, global warming, none of that matters now that we're in the shit. But it's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy, so listen up. The war on terror was just smoke and mirrors, started by good old Uncle Sam, using war as an excuse to look for weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. And global warming? Just a bunch of lying scientists, well in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. About it. All of this, just another way to build unrest in the people. If we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad, then we're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain. Don't be fooled by all their misdirection, folks. They point one way, you look straight at them. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone is just lying their asses off. Is that about it? So... No, yeah, that's, that's, that is about it. That's pretty good advice. It's a little late, but this it's good advice. This thing is completely broken. It hurts, but... I just gotta get this back to my cabin with no one seeing me. <laughs> you two were always so close. Yeah, 
You really were like a brother and sister. Gotta get the debt cord. Schizo's cabin. Let's see what you got, Schizo, old buddy. How'd I ever trust this asshole? Hello. This schizo won't be needing this. <sighs> Gotta go see Addy, get this arm fixed up. Can't let it get infected. We know what that means. I can't do this anymore. It's okay, I'm fine. What, what's going on? I'm a goddamn veterinarian. I went to school to cure colic and heaves and hoof diseases. Does this look like a fucking hoof to you? Addie, no, Addie. you saw what happened to Boozer. I can't do this. Hey, There's so many wounded. Addie. And so many die. Addie. Deacon, I am not a doctor. Okay, maybe not. But you're all we've got. still save Boozer's life. That's got to count for something. Hey, Deke. So I want to go check on the explosives to make sure, you know, the Rippers didn't steal them, and then I went to Schizo's cabin to check on the deck cords, but I should have just come straight here and saved some time. Get the hell out of here, Ricky. Guess we can go blow up that cave, right? I'll come with you. As a kid, my dad found a rat's nest underneath one of our sheds. You want to know what he did? Can't even guess. Well, I waited till morning. They'd all be asleep. He laid a piece of plywood over the hole and told me to go get the garden hose. And he said to me, I never forget what he said to me. He said the best way to kill a rat's nest is to drown him. You can blow up the reservoir above the camp? Oh, that's an idea. Deacon, you can't. They want to rest in De peace. I'm going to help them out. Deacon, you can't do that. Why is that? Because Iron Mike? This is some fucking treaty. You know, I want to cut Schizo's throat, but he's right about one thing. Carlos ain't gonna stop, Rippers ain't gonna stop, and you know it. Are you sure this isn't personal? Fuck yeah, it's personal. 